Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good wherever you are. This is JP here with Brizzy and Brizzy on the Block, where we build out some blocks in every video, or at least one block, and come up with some creative ideas or look at different ways how you can do something just to get that creative juices flowing and give you some ideas of what you can do when you are building out your future website or working on pages and you get stuck in a rut. In this one on Brizzy on the Block, we are going to make a team block with four people on your team and let's see how we can do that as well as how that will translate into tablet and mobile within Brizzy. Let's hop right in. This is what we've got here and this is what I've made is that we've got these four team members Macy van Vieren, Derek Bolt, Christina de Waal and Norom de Prie and they are part of our team of course and what happens is that when you hover over it you can kind of fade them into the front so that people can see them better if they want to have a better look at them. And I think what I had in mind here was something, okay, it says new designer, but more more like a real estate. You know, these are real estate agents. It can be a law firm. You know, these people look all very professional. This guy here with his soya latte, cappuccino, frappuccino. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anything soya is off the table for me. Let's go and see how we can do this. And I do not guarantee that I'll be able to 100% replicate it, even though I created it. It's just one of those things that you have to go with the flow. Let's go here to the bottom, add a new block. And what we will do is, of course, we will use four columns. So it comes in by default with two columns, and I'm going to duplicate that. I can just do that, or I can go to the top over here, where is the block settings and click on add one or even duplicate it. Or in what I did then was right click and choose duplicate. What we need to do now is stretch it full width and that needs to be done with the block. So go to the block settings over here and then over width, add width, you choose full and it will stretch it all the way. At this point in time, you may be tempted to try and get rid of the padding so that you can have it all the way stretch from edge to edge, top, right, bottom, and left. But I would recommend that you don't do that. Just first build out all your content, get it looking honky-dory, and after that, get rid of the padding. And the reason is that you may have difficulty at some points accessing some of these settings if it's all the way here to the top. It didn't happen to me, but it is something that I think you should just be aware of that go and do your content and then go back to the block and take care of those padding options. What we're going to do then is bring in for each column the image. So you see here that we have the columns and the images are applied to each column respectively. So we go to our first column, click on that, and then go to our background here. Click on this one, image, and who did we have here? What was her name? Macy van Vieren. Let me just go check there. It's not that important. Now, similar to what you always do in website design, you do not do the same for the other three at this moment. You're going to build this one out until you're highly satisfied with it, and then you're going to duplicate it. The reason why we have these three is that we can have a good visual representation of how it will look on the site, because if we delete these three, it's going to be this massive column. It's not going to look at all the way we want it to look. To achieve the effect that we have at the top, we'll have text here. So I'll bring in a text element, grab it and drag it and drop it. There's our text element. And then I will apply spacing by bringing spacers to the top and a spacer at the bottom. Again, there is more than one way to achieve this. You can use padding. I like the spacer because as I click on this spacer, I get this handle over here and I can just drag it in. I don't need to go into any menu or settings. It's very visual and instant feedback. And this is exactly what I want to achieve here. So what I'll do is I'll try and place this in the middle. And when I see the image like this starts enlarging, then I know I've reached the image height. So I'm going to stop there. Okay, so I think let's increase this one instead and reduce this one a little bit. The other reason I also like the spacers is because they give you a lot of control when you go into tablet and when you go into mobile. I never used spacers, I would say, more than a year ago. But since I've started working with Brizzy a lot and I started picking up some of the things that the guys did in the original designs, I've 
gotten to be a spacer guy. All spaced out, I am. We cannot see the text there, so let's apply an overlay to the image. Let's go to the column settings again. Click on that, and then we go here, and we can just choose, well, choose this one here. You can choose any dark color and apply an overlay like so. And then let's change the text over here to Macy van Vieren. And I think I went the wrong way here. I applied a dark background with white text, and it's a white background with dark text. So let's switch that around. Same thing, same thing. Okay, let me just get to that settings over there. Okay, so we put this one on white. Okay, and let's reduce it a little bit. And then click on our text element. Let's change the text color to black. And what shall we use here? <laughs> Montserrat, one of my favorites. And then let's make the size 16. Put it on bold. And line height, I don't need to care about that, but I'll put it on 1. And letter spacing, I'm going to put at zero. Then we align it to the middle. Great. So there we go. Ah, very nice. The team is starting to look good. So far, one team member down. But we still need that effect that when you hover over it, it comes to the front, the full image, and the overlay disappears. Go again to the column settings, overlay, and then click here on the hover tag. And now all you do is grab the slider here in the opacity setting all the way to zero. Click outside and you can test it. Great. Now let's go and duplicate this so we can do it also for the three other members of the team. Go to our settings and click on duplicate, duplicate, and how come I cannot do it one more time? By default, Brizzy only allows six columns. So once you've reached six, it will not allow you to add another column. So to do that, you need to go and delete these guys. Right click, delete, right click, delete, and then we add her back with one more. Good. So now we bring in the rest of the gam. Derek Bolt. Let's change Derek Bolt. Go here. Image. It's like that one. Where's Derek? Okay, and type in here Derek Bolt. And then over here is who? Christina Deval. Let's go there. Christina. Christina and type that in and then for this one is no rom duplicy or dupria i forget dupria right so no rom dupria and set oh no 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 background no rom and then we type in here no rom dupria good that's it Okay, and now that you are entirely satisfied and you think good work, time to retire for the day, what you can do now is get rid of the padding here at the top. When you click and drag in this blue bar to the top, you can reduce the padding, but it will always keep 15 pixels there. The same for the bottom. When you do that, 15 pixels. So to totally get rid of that 15 pixels, you go to the block settings, settings, more settings, and then here over padding, all you need to do is you can just link it and then drag it till you get zero. And there you have that effect that we have up here. And I think that's almost a perfect copy. I think these ones are maybe a little bit less taller than these guys, but I think it still looks very good. Now comes the big test. And let's save our work. I'm going to hit Control S, Command S on the keyboard to save that. And then let's go into our tablet. And I'm going to cycle through my views by using control minus and control plus on my keyboard like so control minus takes me one level down one level down and control plus or command plus will take me one level up here i am now normally these kind of four columns like this i will not go for it i think you know four columns next to each other squashed in is just too cramped but in this instance, I think this looks pretty good. All you want people to see is your team. In fact, this looks very powerful and very professional. So what we will do in this case is first we have to remove all this padding here to the block. And it's something, again, that you have to consider do it at the end because maybe you won't be able to find those settings. The thing is that within Brizzy, and, and this you have to understand the logic here. I know there's a lot of people that they don't like it, but you have to understand the hover concept does not work in tablet and in mobile view because the idea is you're working with your finger and you cannot achieve that hover. 
I know many people request it, but you have to understand that currently within Brizzy, if I hover here with a mouse over it, nothing is going to happen because it's tablet. Normally you would use your finger and you cannot hover with your finger. Once you click on it, you click on it. So what's going to happen in this regard? I would say you go to the settings up here and then what you do on the color for the overlay is you take it away. And you can do the same for all three, but what we're going to do is a shortcut. So what we'll do here is we need to go to, where am I now? We go to, where am I now? Ah, right click, yes. You right click on it and you say copy. And what we've done is we've copied the styles of this column. So you go to the next one, right click, paste styles, and it will reduce that color overlay for all of them. The problem that we run in here now is that you cannot see what's going on here. So this is the trade off that I would say you have to think in terms of that, that if you still have this text here, unless you put it on a background, you will need to have some kind of overlay. So we're going to go back and do what we just did. We're going to put our overlay back here, but I'm going to reduce it a little bit so it is not obscuring the image in the background that much. So what I've got here is it down to 30%. Copy it again. And this is preferences. I always say this because people always say, why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do that? Well, well I, I didn't do that because I did this. And sometimes there are better ideas and sometimes it's just your own workflow. And this is how it's going to play out on a tablet for me. So let's go to the block settings now, settings, and then over here again, padding, link them all and drag them down. You see, that looks pretty good. Now you have a different option. So I want you to think about where it is and I'm going to save it, control S, and then I'm going to show an alternative. You can decide that you rather want larger images. So what you do is you go here to Macy von Fieren, you click here on the bar between these two columns and you drag it to 50%. By doing so, you are forcing some of these images to the next line. Let me get it to 50%. Then you go to Derek Bolt and you do the same. You grab him until he gets to 50%. Christina Deval, also down to 50 and Norum Dupree. Where is Norum now? Let's put him there. Very good as well. Really nice. And this is alternative to the four stacked images adjacent to each other that I had just shown you. Well, my decision is to keep the four next to each other. I think that's nice and powerful. So I'm going to undo. Undo button is here at the bottom and you will see the shortcut key also highlighted control Z if you're on Windows, Command Z if you're on a Mac. I'm going to do that Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. We're back to this. Good. Just update my work. Command Control S. Now I'll do Control minus again to go down to our level here. And now you have a decision. This is how Brizzy by default will display these columns. And honestly, not a bad display. This is where you again decide, do I like those padding? around the images or do I want to get rid of that? And the overlay comes from the desktop. So the overlay is too strong here. So if I go to the overlay, you will see it's still up here, not the 30% that we had applied on the tablet. The other thing that you will notice more clearer here on Derek, if I go to Derek, you will see there is a white space between the container and the image. And that is done also by default setting for the mobile display. If I go to settings, you will see there's a margin at the top and at the bottom of 10 pixels applied. What I'll do is I'm going to remove that. So let's remove that and highlight, type in 10, highlight, type in 10. You'll see now it's all the way flush to the top and bottom borders. And then let's go here to the colors and also reduce that to same right here. And to apply these settings now to the other three remaining images, we do the same. Go to the settings, right click and say copy. Go over here, right click, paste styles. To Christina Deval, we do the same, right click, paste styles. And then to Norum Dupree, we do the same, paste styles. And now the only thing that remains is for us to remove our borders here. And that is done within the block. So we go to the block, settings, and then padding, link them all, drag them to the left, and there you have that. Good. Let's save it, Control S, and we move back 
into our desktop view, which you can do down here by clicking on desktop or control command plus brings you to tablet, control command plus brings you to desktop. And after this, you need to go and test it. So let's do that. I'm going to, again, just update it for good measure. And then over here in the bottom, click on preview. And this is how it will display for the front end user. Okay, so this is the one that I made originally. This is the one that we made today. And I'll activate here in my browser. Let's go and have a look how it will look on a tablet. And okay, it kept that one, but I did save it. Oh, oh, this is the one I originally did. Let's go to the bottom. Here is the four. So you can have a good idea. This is my original of four, the one that I had done before this tutorial. And here are the four next to each other as we had created them in this tutorial. Good looking. Just note, when we are talking about tablet in Brizzy, we are talking about the portrait view. As if you are holding the tablet as a book. The moment you switch that to landscape view, what is going to happen? You can see here, it will apply the desktop view, right? So when you, the moment you turn the tablet from in the landscape mode, it's going to approach it as if it is a desktop. So just take that into consideration that tablets can have this limitation. The way the tablet view works within Brizzy is for portrait view like this one. Let's also go check it for Apple iPhone X. Okay, let me just make sure we're here at the bottom one. Okay, bottom, bottom, bottom. Yes, Macy van Vieren, it looks good. And then here for Samsung Galaxy S, same. These all look very good. So we've made a very nice team block here that people can come to your real estate or to your lawyer firm or consultancy firm. And then this nice effect here that people can hover over and look at Derek a little bit more and his blue eyes. I guess it's blue eyes. Yeah. And his smirk like, yeah, I'm the man. Hope this was useful and that something in here could maybe spark a little bit of inspiration for your future creations. And if you've done something like this or some ideas like this, please share with us. Throw it down in the comments below. And it is always great to see what other people are doing with it. And then remember to subscribe to YouTube so you can get more videos like this and ideas. Also jump over to our Facebook forum and go and join the community over there. And for the latest news, join us at brizzy.io. This is JP. See you in the next video.